what is up ladies and gentlemen i hope you enjoyed this video drop a like or subscribe for more cnc stuff and ring the bell for future videos and as always a big shout out to all my patreons and i will see you in the next video take care oh, what is up ladies and gentlemen another cast it is from jack jones a patreon request it is a freebie spree on the top right we have judge the power judge power and on the middle we have Bart Jones, I believe this is Jack Jones, we're just going to call him Jones for today in this replay. And on the top left, we have Outlaw playing as the screen. You start with four spikes, one EMP tower on the top. And on the bottom, I didn't catch the names, I'm getting straight into this, it is Iron Kane playing as the GDI. And in the middle down here, we have a Nod player, player Mangoes playing as Nod, like I just said. And on the bottom right, we have Demonic, who is a regular on the channel, the big Patreon, been supporting the channel for a while now. Thank you very much, my G. And he is going to be building a crane. He's going to be moving to this expansion. So you have, oh, sorry, my mouse went. So you have one blue field in the top right here. You have one blue field in the middle, and you have one blue field on the bottom, uh, top left as well, in the middle left and the middle right. I shouldn't say top tops up here. What am I talking about? Riflemen are going to go down pretty quickly. We're going to see if there's any kind of rushes coming out. Looks like there's an EMP. He's forgot to get the EMP tower. He needs to get that. That's a bit delayed. Demonic already has his. Oh, that goes down. These riflemen are going to go up and scout. What have we got up here? The refinery goes down. Did he not crane? I don't think he crane. I think he just moved his MCV. That's wild. You should definitely crane. Demonic plane is very smart. And he is going crane. Needs to get his economy out. Got a pit bull for a scout after your fourth harvester. So on this map, after your third or fourth harvester, you want to build a pit bull. This is a waste right here because now you're stale stalled on your third harvester. If this is the case, always bring your harvester in early and just get the third harvester. Never, never wait that long. Looks like oh, bikes on the top left. I've just caught. Oh my god, harvester goes down and he has no economy. And he has four spikes. Oh no, that's gonna be it's gonna be hard to come back into the game. But he has got four spikes. He will be able to get a harvester out. Uh, but that is really bad for the top side right now. Gun tower comes down. Watch tower. The count of these bikes. Bikes are gonna come in. They're not gonna get much. Two pit bulls. One predator tank there already. All those bikes go down. Two left over. And that pit bull is gonna be going down as well if he doesn't get out of there. Yeah, that's a waste of bikes now. Uh, I've got about four harvesters on the bottom, uh, tier two. I actually would have preferred if he went one more harvest. Like, what he should have done, he should have put his tier two here, and then build on, build on from it, and put the refinery here, because then you could, um, you, you don't get one click so badly. Let me check what patch this is. It is, oh, it's 1.3, so the patch is 1.3, never mind. So yeah, he can just place it here. If it's R16, you have to watch out for the one click. So the patch is 1.3. So the refineries are cheaper. So losing that harvester wasn't the worst, actually, because the refinery is cheaper here. Predators in the middle. APCs in the middle as well. What's on the left here? Oh, it's just this little annoying little bastard. Uh, stealth tower coming down. This is some flame tanks. Wow. Cheeky flame tanks. Freeze flame tanks already. Beacon comes down. Well, that harvest is going to go down really quickly. God damn. Oh, I even got a refinery in the middle there. That's really bad. Like, this makes no sense. You just build a refinery here. But three bikes are coming down from the bottom. Are they going to be able to do anything? He's going to get two harvesters of worth of blue Tiberium. That is massive. That's so much economy. These bikes are just being left alone. Beacon, I'm Kane. And beacon and beacon and beacon and... The player is not reacting. He is not reacting. <clears throat> Loses one harvester. I should have got a cup of water. But I got a sore throat today. But I've, I've delayed this replay for like two weeks now. Because it's been so busy. EMP comes down. To be able to take out a few APCs. A few tanks maybe. Pitbull goes down as well. No. Uh, he's not aiming correctly. Reinforcements come in from Outlaw. Disintegrators are going to take out these Scorpion tanks. Without any issue. No micro at all. Beacon and coming down from Judge Power. Oh, I think he's stealthed. I think he's stealthed all of these flame tanks. There are six flame tanks 
onto the right side that he is stealthed, I think, with the... Let me check. Did he stealth? He did complete. stealth. He used Cloak and Field on these flame tanks. These flame tanks have not been seen. There's no scout in the middle. Still getting harassed here. Losing mostly all his tanks. Outlaw finally loses his Seekers. But the refinery is going to go... Down. No, it doesn't go down. Does clean up the bottom as well. Finally, rebuilt his harvesters. Flame tanks are coming in. Tier 4 is out. Dragonauts are out as well. Oh boy, you're going to put the health bars on for this. Looks like they're attacking on the top left as well here. Going to put the... Oh no. Oh no. Two flame tanks going to go around the back. Maybe to pick out the spikes. MCV will go down insanely fast. MCV gets aimed straight down. Power plant goes down as well. The Dragonaut can fire. Oh, he's losing everything. He needs to keep one of these war factories alive. He needs to sell this tier 4. Kill the kill these flame tanks. Keep one. He needs to keep one of these alive. I don't think he's going to be able to sell the tier 4. Did not sell it in time. So the zone troopers are not going to be able to help. War factory is probably going to go down. If it goes down, he won't be able to stay in the game. He needs to keep alive. Is it going to stay alive? He doesn't stay alive. He dies on the top left. We have a massive push from Iron Kane. Demonic has been defeated. He has given his base to the Vangos in the middle. Oh. And Disintegrator is going to come up, clean up everything. There's no anti-infantry. Predators are not aiming down the harvesters, so they're just going to go down for free. Killing the refineries is not a big deal. Doesn't even kill the refiner. Kills one refinery. Doesn't kill the harvesters, though. Should have aimed all down the harvesters. The refinery is not a big deal because it's 2.5k. Every single tank goes down here. Reinforcements from the right. And uh, the Iron Storm's down as well. That is a cleanup. Dragonauts in the middle as well. Let's look what's going down here. More flame tanks to the bottom left. Going to be able to take out the war factory. Going to be able to take out the power plant. Should kill the refinery as well. Orcas are going to come down. Just saves the refinery. Orcas there. Pitbull's on there as well. And Kane's going to save him down here. Does see it now because he's got the Orcas and Pitbulls. All the flame tanks are finally down. Judge Power still building the economy. Got his tech up. Middle's going to push down here. On the left side, we have a lot of Dragonauts. That Blue Tiberium's just sitting there, by the way. Did not kill the spikes on the EMP. That's such a big mistake from Judge Power. Could have killed these, but I know two flame tanks came down here because they went down here. Bill's going to come down now. Oh, wow. Only loses two. I don't know how that only killed two, though. That's so random to me. Orca Strike's so weird now, I swear. Barely. It, like, sometimes it does, like, the best hits in the world, and other times it's terrible. And that time it's terrible, because it hit directly. I think it's because of the structure. I think it bugs it, like, kills and structures. All the infantry goes down. That's a lot of Dragonauts. Needs to bring this army over. I mean, he has this huge army. MCV out in the middle from Jones. Jones with all the Dragonauts on the left as well. There's a lot of Dragonauts. Refinery is finally going to go down. There's so many Dragonauts. How are they going to hold this? Oh, Orcas are doing work, though. MCV coming forward as well. This this is going to go down. Shockwave comes down. There's the Shockwave on the Dragonauts. Where's the Shockwave? Oh, no. Shockwave is on the right side. Had to sell the MCV before it died. Mines come down as well. Good mine drop from power. It's going to come forward. There's no stealth detection. Wow, three airfield bombers there. A lot of infantry coming down. Predators onto the left side. Clean up all the Dragonauts. The snipers have gone down as well. He needs to retreat. He is losing so many Dragonauts there. Outlaw comes to the left side with a lot of disintegrators. Militants are coming out to clean up the disintegrators now. APCs are there, but the mines are killing them. Hovers of Light comes down now. But it's just going to get hit by the air. Boom, 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 boom. Goes straight down. Another office of light is down. Turrets come down as well. Shredder turrets are out. Needs to bring all these Dragonauts to the right side. That's a lot of infantry though. Doing a lot of work. No Buzzer Hive. A Buzzer Swarm. Is it not a Buzzer Swarm? But well, I have a head to there now. So EMP comes down. And he manages to get most of the Dragonauts. They're going to go down pretty quickly. That's a bit far forward that is. I would have put them up here on the Tiberium. Gonna lose mostly every single one. Jones not the best to control here. He should have used them up here. Should have put them all here. And the MCV should have moved forward in stealth detection. They can clean this up pretty easily. MCV nearly goes down. Gonna clean up all the husk as well. Another officer of light goes down. He has a lot of money because he has two bases. Needs to get this economy. They're gonna start mining it now. Long distance mining. But 
Yeah, they could definitely do more. This blue Tiberium could be a game changer as well. There's a lot of it. Looks like two harvesters from Judge Power is also going to go for the blue Tiberium. Yeah, it's a big deal. Sniper's out again. Outlaw coming around with a tripod. Tripod's not going to be able to do much. Tripod is going to go down super quickly there. Kind of a waste of a tripod if you ask me. Doesn't manage to get the dragon off. But these, these, these air is going to do so much damage. Does repair the MCV with some energy layers. Redeemer comes out. So it is 1.3. Redeemer's are uh, epic units are more expensive. But the, the, actually they're just worse. So there's the Redeemer. I don't think I have the 4K mod on at the moment because uh, I had to install this patch again and it deletes the files. So uh, the 4K mod is not on. Uh, it'll probably be on for the next time, but it just, yeah. I couldn't be bothered to put it back on because I, uh, yeah, I have a busy day. Alright, so the push is going to come into the right. You've got Iron Kane pushing onto the left here. There's a lot of disintegrators. Where's the anti infantry man? The hammerheads are here. Needs to clean up these disintegrators. Tripod goes down. Oh my god, the bombers come in and kill every single dragon. Oh, that is insane right there. Loses everything. And the disintegrator is a hero as well. They're doing a lot of work. Hammerhead is there, but no AP ammo has been upgraded from Iron Kane. I think he's forgot. Slingshots are going to come forward. Take out the hammerhead. And all these husks need to be cleaned up. He is going to clean up the husks. On the right side, the push is still happening, but it's just not enough. Needs to put these back. Kills the husks. Runs over the husks. No engineers in the Redeemer. Big mistake. You want to whack them in the Redeemer. Uh, Zone Trooper is going to come forward for Jones right now. EMP comes down as well. And this epic is going to be dead, 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 dead. Rage comes down. But it doesn't matter. Hobbits of Light comes down. And this is going to die right here. The bombers are going to come through. That is goodbye. Goodbye, my son. Have a nice day. MCV almost goes down as well. A little bit of health left. Does shield it, but the shield's not as good as it is in R16. Spectres are going to go down. Outlaw comes to the left in reinforcements with Ravagers. Takes out the infantry. This MCV is not long for this world. Instantly goes down now, and that is goodbye. He does have build radius. He has three harbor, three refineries on this blue Tiberium. What in the world? There's a little army here for some reason that's not doing much. And this push has been cleaned up. So it's a stalemate there. Looks like Outlaw is going hexapod. So he's got his hexapod out. Yet again, epics aren't as good as they are. we got a tank over here for some reason. Um... Okay, nearly a hero tank. It's just going to hit the MCV. Okay. Stealth protection is going to be gone now. The tower goes. we got three hammerheads. Just chilling, relaxing, smoothing. That's a lot of bombers though, man. Look at them. Look at them. Vindigo bombers, man. This is so many. The tank finally goes down. No, not yet. Tank is still alive. Hexapod is coming across the map, takes out some takes out some Scorpion tanks, get a, gets a little bit of money. What's going on here? Is he going to build another Redeemer? Or the air is just going to keep bombing this whole thing. It's just going to be able to clean it up. All these, all these Scorpions can go down. He's not really microing them. Got some Corruptors healing the Hexapod at the back. They keep using, uh, if you see it lags for a slight second, it's because they use their radar jammer, and that if you, if you're observer for some reason it lags it a little bit for like a split second. Like when you're playing, it doesn't do anything. But wow, that's just yeah, nice money, just the extra money there. Passive income, as we say. MCV goes down by the bombers, doesn't really lose much. EMP comes down, but only gets one. Surprisingly, doesn't get much for his buff, buff there. Dragon out the front. Maybe go down. I mean, this infantry is not going to do much. She's just pushing in, but nothing's going to go down here. Still got this economy onto the left side. Judge Power is going to come over here. Marv's coming out from Jones. It's just a hold at the moment. Uh, I am Kane has got a Marv. Some EMP grenadiers upgrading the EMP. Outlaw is beaconing his drone ship into the middle. The Redeemer has risen. Another Redeemer comes out from Mangoes. Orca strike comes down, maybe just for scouting. Because you can use your Orca strike just to keep the build rate and uh, vision. 
Oh wait, whose orchestra is that? Why did that not? Oh no, wait, yeah, that's their orchestra. Oh, he hits the airfield. Oh wow, hammer hits in the back. Wow, doesn't kill the airfields. Could have taken out two airfields uh, to make him rebuild them. Tier 4, like tier 4 uplink and like bombardment EMP could kill all of this. He could put the EMP here and then bombardment here and kill three airfields and maybe pick out some air when he's not looking. Like that could be a great combo I think, but they're obviously not going to do it. Like I am Kane could go to tier 4, wait, scan, wait for him to bomb and then use it when maybe he needs attention somewhere. EMP comes down, he's going to use the EMP uplink on the bottom here. Oh, EMP, he didn't need to, he had EMP grenades, that's a waste. Phase does come down. Redeemer is here. If the Redeemer was closer and he used Rage, he wouldn't be able to use the phase because it's not his unit anymore. When, when you when you have your unit Rage, the unit turns neutral pretty much and attacks everyone. So you can't use any abilities on it, you can't teleport it. So that could have been a great timing. Yet again, just a little tip. If you ever have a Redeemer and um, you're against Scrin, uh, heck, Redeemer Hub goes down. If you, what you want to do in engagements is use rage on it and then it can't use its phase. But oh, EMP comes down. EMP's his own Marv doesn't finish it off for some reason. Um, okay, just. Okay, I don't understand. Maybe. Uh, okay, does finally get it. Mines come down. Not the best here. Doesn't do much. Dragonauts to the middle. Gonna be able to take out that drone ship maybe. What's, what's he got? He's got two warships. Uh, they got tier 4, he has got the single transmitter online, so uh, cruisers are going to come out. That drone ship is not long for this world either. That goes down, kind of a point that Iron Storm comes down. Redeem it is there, going to put some engineers. He's using sniper bombard here, with two Dragonauts. <laughs> oh, but the sniper's been found. Oh, it does take out the anti-air anti though. Just taking out a barracks as a waste, goes down. And my head's on full woods. Yeah, but he's got a lot of defense here. Look at two iron storms, he's not getting through this. Need some slingshots as well. Jones has got a Marv out, so his Marv's gonna go to the right. Dragonauts go forward. Beacons the Redeemer. Oh, two slingshots are out, so this is gonna go down. One, one warship's gonna go down straight away. What are you doing? Aim this warship down, okay. Aim that down. Oh, are you kidding me? Like, I would have gone for that. And then reverse moves. EMP comes down. EMP should have came down on the slingshots, I think, or whatever. But it's gonna go down either way, I think. I don't think he killed us. I don't know, unless it's support, I don't think he's gonna kill this Hector, this Redeemer. I mean, this Marv, maybe. Nah, he's not gonna get. He's gonna get away because I think this is stealth as well. Yeah, it's stealth, so they both stealth their units. That is a terrible, terrible waste of our ability there. Oh my god, he doesn't even get one. Gonna go in for the mastermind. Does get the mastermind, but finally gets one of them. But you, you save that for a lot of them where you can kill his units. comes in, takes out a lot of the infantry here. I mean, I don't know about using these bombs to kill infantry. So that's killed quite a lot though. Loses two this time around. If that goes down, he loses two. Yep, he loses two bombers. The push is coming in from Jones. Looks like they are fine down here. I'm Kane with a lot of rockets, a lot of dragonauts. He's going to be able to hold. He needs more anti-air uh, anti though. I feel like there needs to be like four anti-air towers, uh, eight slingshots. It's getting to the point where the top team are just in their favorite here. It's a 2v3 at the moment, but they do have the same economy. It just depends how good this player is, really. He has to be really good to win. Bombers are going to come in. There's just so many bombers, so it takes out everything. And it did. Stealth Tower goes down. Infantry go. Oh, he loses one. Keeps the one that's nearly hero. The Redeemer is going to use the Rage. Jones is going to be able to try and aim this down. Needs to aim that Redeemer. I mean, he needs to run that Redeemer. Manages to get away. No, no uplink. No shockwave. More tanks are coming out. Did he lose his tech? Because he's building tanks. 
Oh, his tech's still alive, so why are you building tanks? Okay, good inspectors. That's the right choice. You'd have a lot more inspectors. Redeemer on the right. No, this is bad. No, 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 no. Don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this. Oh my god. Say goodbye. And uh, that's instantly dead. Like I said, that, that's terrible. And now he's not going to have enough to hold this. This is not enough to hold this. And it looks like it's all falling apart for the bottom team down here. They're trying. They're trying. You've got to give them effort for trying. But is it going to be enough? Are they going to be able to pull this back? I don't think so. Bomber's going to come through. Does a bit of damage on the Redeemer. Doesn't lose his one Bomber for his efforts. More anti air comes down. A lot of Dragonauts do go down. Another drone ship is going to come forward. Oh, a push on the bottom right here. Slingshots. There are quite a lot of slingshots though. He needs to aim down the... He needs to reverse move these slingshots and aim down the little, um, little attack things. Little alien ships. Little cruisers, shall I say. EMP comes down. Oh, he EMPs the own Dragonauts though. I'm pretty sure this was the other player. His teammate trying to kill all these, but it didn't work. Hexapod doesn't go down. Oh, it might go down though. No face. Hexapod does go down. Zone troops to the back. Is there enough anti? Yeah, I don't think there is. Does he have a, does he has a war factory? He doesn't have a war factory. Does he have a hammerheads? I mean, Firehawks. Needs to start building Firehawks. Not enough anti-infantry here. Power plants are going to go down on the right side. He still holds amazingly. He's still holding. Spectres are going to go down pretty quickly here. The, or the bomber's going to come through. Takes out all the anti-air. Takes out the stealth, um, the secret shrines, and no more stealth, no more stealth towers. He's trying to build the anti air. One cruiser goes down. He's gonna aim that down. He's gonna aim down that MCV. Redeemer's gonna go forward, but is it too far forward? That's the question. I think it is. The bombers are gonna come through as well. It doesn't matter. It's gonna go down. The bombers are gonna get it, and that is the Redeemer down. And I think that is all it's going to be for this game. Can't, I just don't see a way how they come back into this. Outlaw has crippled his left side now. Not enough anti-air here. It's just going down. He needs to place it at the back and work his way forward. So there's enough to kill the little ship. So you place one here, here, and then here. You, you creep forward. Didn't repair this either. That's going to go down instantly. On the right side, they're finally going to push in. Get the Nod player out of the game. Iron Kane's probably going to quit as well shortly. I mean, is there a way back? I don't think there is. They have nothing. There, there's nothing left. Very nice play for the top team over here. Bottom team did okay, considering everything that happened at the start. Outlaw getting back into the game was pretty impressive as well. Another, the MCV is going to run. That just means it can't place any anti-air down on this side now. More anti-air comes down. So there's enough anti-air on the hold on the left, but... Oh, he's actually going to lose all of this here. Oh, he's going to get another cruiser, actually. He's not microin. One does go down. Sonic Strike comes down as well. It's such a waste. You don't use on that. Beacon comes down. And TV. Okay, he loses two cruisers. So they hold on the left. On the right side, he had been completely cleaned up. And I might fast forward this a little bit because it looks like they're just chilling. So I'm just going to fast forward this a little bit just because it's pretty much over. Um, I don't want you sitting here watching nothing. I mean, he is going to build some air. Wow, they just take out the anti, anti air like instantly. EMP comes down. Oh, he did it too quickly. He did it too quickly. Judge power, another beacon. Doesn't need the beacon this. There's another refinery here. Um, yeah, they're just on a defensive thing, but the game is definitely over. He's got he's got a um, assault cruisers over here. He's got many of them. On the right side, we have a veteran mob. Dang, son. These Vindigo bombers take out all the anti-air here. It's tier 2 goes down. No more anti-air. <coughs> The tech goes down by the sniper team bombardment, so no redeemer, no obelisk of light, there is nothing going to be left. The infantry is going to make one last stand, but the sniper teams are there. Shredder turrets come down as well, and that is enough to clean that up. The Marvin's half health pretty much, got a hexapod, 
You got you got your air, you got two drones as well. You got your uh, corrupts in the back here. There is not enough here. There's nothing here actually. Just one player left. I'm Kane. The other player is out. One player left in the game. And I think the zone troopers in some hammerheads. It's just not going to be enough. He's going to try and hold this right side. But is it going to be enough? I think not. Once these go down, he's definitely going to quit out. And he could even just kill him with the bombers. I think that's what he's going to do. No, he could, they have little guns on. The refinery goes down. Ah, I could have killed that MCV. Nearly kills the Redeemer hub. The left side is about to be crippled. There you go. All the air down here. Kills up the uplink. Shockwave comes down. But, you know, I think he's just going to quit. I mean, it doesn't matter. On the right side, slingshots are out. Joves is going to push forward with the Dragonaut and the Marv. The Marv's going to come forward now. The Vindigo Bombers are going to start hitting these hammerheads. There's at the air though. Manages to save them. But look at this. This is so much. So many snipers. All this infantry is going to go down. A lot of slingshots. There is absolutely nothing I'm Kane can do. MCV just idle there. And on the left, he manages to clean it all up, but at what cost? At what cost? No, fast forward it. I'm pretty sure he's going to quit now. I mean, uh, he's trying to fancy micro two hammerheads against uh, three players <laughs> who have the entire map. Uh, there's even more reinforcements. Look at that, so much. And Iron Kane has been defeated, ladies and gentlemen. And that will be it for this game. This was a 3v3 and 1.3. We're going to look at the units and structures for you. So if you want to pause and look. And Demonic got out pretty early. Resources wise, he had a lot. Outlaw had a lot because he's screen. And 27 minutes. And then. There you go. Alright ladies and gentlemen, hope you enjoyed, have a good day and I'll see you next time. As usual, a big thanks to all my patrons and supporters. You can support the channel as low as £1 a month. You can check the description in the link for Patreon. And I hope you have a good day, take care and see you next time.